Good evening. Welcome to the beauty room. Um, I am Dawn. That's me. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're an original and you've been here for a while, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in, stopping by, or just clicking onto this video. It's all about the She Make Rosie eyeshadow palette. That is 18 color eyeshadow palette. It has it in the back of the names and the shades. Very pretty. Yes. I did a haul about Cherry um, just a day ago or so. I just want to say thank you all for making that video a great video. Thumbs it up. Like it. View it. Subscribe it. Share it with your family and friends. Share it. Period. I thank you so, so much. So I just want to say thank you for stopping by tonight's video. Today is October 3rd. 2021 it is a sunday evening it's about 9 52 p.m eastern standard time so we're going to get ready and right into the things and i should have had it that i highly highly recommend for you to go on cherry's website www.cherry c-h-e-r-r-i-e.com to highly recommend get this palette you will not be disappointed it's very pretty for all skin tones, shades that you are, queens. Yes. So I highly recommend this palette. And it was, I believe, $8.99 or $10.99. So it's between one of those prices between $8.99 and I say almost $20. But I believe it's like $8.99 or $10.99. So it's between those two prices. So definitely I highly recommend for you to go on to Cherry's website. Check it out. Get this palette. Put this in your cart. Put this and get two of these two or three two or three of these for you your best friend your daughter your niece so you all can have a ladies day in playing some makeup of course and then go out later on for some brunch or tea or coffee just or going out to early dinner just having a girl's day night still you know and definitely recommending yourself with all your pretty makeup on yes ladies yes 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 and guys yes so i'm gonna get right started into the palette so this is very pretty it's for all skin tones like i said so definitely i highly recommend this palette so i just want to say thank you for tuning in tonight's video or just stopping by make sure you grab yourself a snack your makeup brushes something to drink um of your choice a notepad with pen or paper taking notes on the things that i highly recommend so let's get started so i already primed myself with the eye primer which is right here and as you see it's like a like an ivory type of tannish color new like nudish color it has no shimmer in it it's just a nude eye primer so you supply it onto your eyelids, your upper, I mean, your downer brow, your brow bone. So you can get the high, highly pigmentation to this palette onto your eyelids and also right here above your, uh, your, above your eyebrow. So right there. So I just want to let you know about that. So the first shade we are going to use is called Rescue. It's R-S, I'm sorry, R-I-S-Q-U-E. So I highly recommend this palette because you'll see what I'm talking about when you apply the palette. Just make sure you like it and definitely try it a few times if you like it. I highly recommend this palette. All I can say is just beyond super pretty for all skin tones. I can not say that enough. But this would be so pretty for all skin tones. A woman or guy that you are, ladies and guys. So I highly recommend this palette. So yes, the first eyeshadow palette we are going to put on to our eyelids. And above our eyelids it is i'm sorry not uh, rescue it's called lace l-a-c-e and then right next to it is the rescue so i'm going to try um apply that first shade that i just said is lace not rescue i'll try rescue rescue onto um on like above it so that way i can get that good pigmentation that i want so and then this is the makeup brush that i highly recommend no, not this one. I'm sorry. I can't find it. Oh. This one right here. Now, this one is by Batty. 
that is called B A B I B E A R. It's about a, between a 12 and 15 um, brush set from Sheen. www. Sorry, www. S H E I N. Time for your makeup brushes. Highly recommend the makeup brushes in Sheen's website. You'll love it. I highly recommend them because I order them all the time so I can get more makeup brushes. And I also go to shopmissa.com for my makeup brushes or the sets from Shopmiss A. So this is the pigmentation to lace. I don't know if I let you, I don't know if I swatch it or not, but this is what it is. It's about like this shade. It's about like a light mauve type of medium color. So I'm just going to apply that right on to my upper brown bone. Like right up here. So. I'm trying not to do no windshield wiper. But it just depends on how your eyes are shaped. Because my eyes are hooded eyes. So yes, I have hooded eyes. And on me so and you want to just blend till you can't blend anymore but you want to get that first transition shade on to your above your your bone like right here just like right above your crease you want to get about like right start like about like right here and then work your way like this or however way you want to do it because it's your face and it's your eyelids. So I'm just letting you know how I do it. So this is a get ready with me. And I just want to apply some more. So I can get that transition shade that I want. I'm going to use my mirror that I use. I'll sew a lot in my videos. Now I'm just kind of take this mirror so I can see. But how I'm showing you all. I just put it like about right here. Right there. And then I just apply it right above here. So you can really get that match. You can be my skin tone of a shade. You can be darker than me. You can be you're lighter than me. This palette is very pretty for all skin tones of all queens and guys that we are. So I highly, highly recommend this palette. It's a very pretty, like a neutral type of fall um, palette. So yes, very pretty. So. And I also love to the pigmentation that, that I um, shall get to. So it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Because you can really see it more um, to your eyelids. So if you have like really good lighting. Let me turn on my light to my ring light. So you all can really see it. There you go. Better. Okay, so that pigmentation is very good, so you can see that. Yeah, so yeah, like right, right there. I'm gonna try to get my eyebrow looking a lot better than I got. It. I'm gonna fix my eyebrow in a minute, but I just want to get that pigmentation on to my eyelid. So now, the next shade is going to be that rescue color and I'm using the same um, the same brush so I'm just going to transfer this shade on now to my bone because I can feel it like right here so I'm just transitioning that shade to that and I'm going to mix them both in this is very pretty I wish you all can really, really see how it looks because this palette is very pretty. It's super, super pretty. I think it's very pretty. I don't really use a whole lot of sh um, eyeshadow shades for my eyelid because I have hooded eyes and my eyes are very small. So I don't really use a whole lot. So if that makes any sense, I don't use a whole lot of uh, shades. So that's very very pretty so now i'm going to take a darker shade i'm going to not use this for right now i'm going to use another brush and then this brush is from wet and wild 
wet and wild brush now this has no number or name but this is just a blendable brush this is called fantasy makers through the website of wet and wild so highly recommend this brush for your blending brushes or if you need just a few more this would be very very good too so i'm going to take a, another shade it's called teddy i'm taking teddy and teddy looks just about like that so like that very pretty so i'm taking it like right above i'm taking it like right here onto my eyelid so Okay, so that is about much how I want it, but just like a little bit more, but just a tiny bit more, not too much. I'm going to do a darker shade too. Okay, so. It's very pretty how I want it like right now. So I'm going to take a darker shade. It's called Suede. It's S-U-E-D-E. -E. It's a very pretty, very pretty, like real dark type of brown. Very pretty. Yeah, it should be pretty. I'm going to put it like right where I had the other color, right onto my crease. So I'm just applying like right above here in the outer corner. And then I'm going in now. Taking it one more time. Suede. That real dark, pretty brown. See, okay, I'm just going like this in circles. Now I'm just applying like right here. And of course, you know, I'm going to, try to put on a glitter. Yes. Okay. It's like a mobbish type of look I'm going for. So, now I'm done with this eye for just the matte shades. Now I'm going to go in with this brush here. It's by the AOA Studio and it's E113. Three. I'm going to go in with a very, very pretty glitter. I think I'm going to use two glitters. I'm going to use the first one. It's called Infat In Infatuated. It's a very pretty color. This color right here. And I'm going to go in with this color too. It's called Calm Moon. So I'm going to put them both together. And you know what? No, I'm just going to use just one. So I'm just going to use one. Because I want to use the calm glitter into the uh, the inner corner of my eyelid. So yeah, I'm just going to use one. So I'm going to use the infatuated. First, I'm going to use the brush. And then I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my finger. See, look up oh, pretty. That's very pretty. So I'm going to just use my finger because it looks like I'll get more pigmentation onto the lid with my finger. And yes, this is very pretty. Now I'm just putting it like right here. I'm not trying to put it too much high up. Put it like right here. So. 
Wow, that's pretty. I mean, look at that pigmentation. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. So, now I'm done with that. I'm going to use the, the brown, the suede again, for that darker type of look so I can put it, like, mix it in with the glitter. Yes, that's pretty. Very pretty. You all have to get this this eyeshadow palette so we can really see what I'm talking about. It's so pretty. So now we are going to go into the other eye. So I'm going to go in with that one. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna do the left one now. I'm sorry, the right one, I'm sorry. So I'm going to use um lace. This is how I'm doing it, like right here. A little bit. Okay, there we go. Sorry. That's just a, a towel <laughs> that I have <laughs> that we're gonna be doing laundry soon, and I'm so happy to do laundry because we don't get a chance to. I mean, we do do it, you know what I mean? I just did laundry just like last week. We it, it just get, we have just like a load to do, so. Um, it's just some towels. We already did our clothes, our work clothes and stuff like that. So, yeah. I got off work today. Well, tonight about 8 o'clock. But I had to eat dinner with my bae, Hamilton. So, I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you did something fun, family fun. And or just kick back and relax. Had the grandparents or your parents watch the kids. And mom and dad had some alone time. Some more in our time. That's what I hope you all did. Or just did, uh, did a nice family walk or hike or something. Or just went somewhere for a weekend. You know, somewhere fun. Before kids go back to school on Monday. I hope your kids have a, have a great week in school. Have a good Monday in school. And parents, hope you have a great work day. And hope you have a, a great work week. Monday. Or if you're on vacation. Or just getting back from vacation. Or even starting your vacation you know Monday for about a week or so yes so that is about how I want but I want like a little bit more with the lace it's just a transition um, transition shade so yeah so apply it just like this like a windshield wiper type of uh, motion so just like that Okay, yes. So now I'm taking rescue. And I'm putting it on just like this. To the outer corner right here and I'm working my way in. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm going into Teddy. Putting like right here. I just use like a little bit of Teddy, but not too much of it. Just only one time. And now I'm going doing in the, the suede. I'm putting it on a lid. Putting it all over the lid. Okay, so that is done. This is, this is a very pretty look. Very pretty look. So now I'm going to use that color and infatuate it onto my lid
I'm telling you, you all have to get this palette. It's so pretty because you know how you gotta buy the eyeshadow palette and you gotta buy a, a really good primer. You know that works for your eyelid, the one that will not break you out. But some people are like allergic to eye primers, and so they do the best that they can, you know, for their eyeshadow look or how what look they want to go for, you know, day or night or whichever, or you know, so. Okay, yes. All right. We are getting it along. So we're coming along with it. So I got to just do the bottom. So I'm going to leave this open. And yeah, so I'm going to put some eye primer. This is the NYX Big Plus Loud Eye Lash Primer. I'm just putting that onto my eyes here. So, all right, so that's done. So, I have my primer onto my eyelashes. Okay, so next, I'm going to put the foundation on. This is um, the Maybelline New York Dream Radiant Liquid Hydration Foundation. This is in 130 if you're in my shade, and it's cocoa. So if you're in my shade, this would be very, very good. And it has with a pump. Love that. Yes. I'm starting to really like um, um, foundation with the pump. I mean, with the pump because it makes it so much easier instead of trying to put the beauty sponge or your foundation brush onto your, um, like onto your skin. It makes it so much easier to basically really have more control when you definitely um, use a sponge or a, you know, use a foundation brush. So I'm just using my brush. I don't really have to put a whole lot of this foundation on. So. This is only one use, you all. Yes, one use to this foundation. Only one use. Wow. If I was going out, I would use at least two pumps. But this gives you a radiant glow, like like hydration. So you'll still get that glow into the foundation. Yes. So that's all you want to use. So that's done. Now I'm going to use the concealer. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is, I think, in tan or caramel. And I just just do my usual like that. Not like that. And I'm just gonna use my foundation brush.
So yeah. This so this is a brush that I've gotten from Sheen. So it's from Sheen. So yes, I highly recommend this is a foundation brush. And it has like the hole like right here where you can just if you have a pump foundation. And this would be really, really good to put your pump foundation on as well. So this look is coming really together because it's looking really good, y'all. This is so pretty. I just love this look. And so that's done. So now we're just going to do the contour. Now this is from Shop Miss A. This is the Sculpt FX AOA Studio Contour Stick. This is in 3037 Earth. So this would be a very good, if you're in my shade, or lighter, you can use this, you know, as a contour, you know, very good contour stick. So I'm going to put a little bit more here. Okay. So that's really about all I like right there. You don't need a whole lot of this contour stick, you know, on. So. Now we're just going to blend the contour into with this brush by Mange. This is the Flawless Brush Number 5. We're just going to blend it. This is, this is a concealer brush, but I'm just using this, you know, to blend it in. And you're going to go really, really fast with that contour stick because that's just how it is. You have to go really, really fast. Blend it in really, really fast. Because this will be that scope look, that type of look that you want, you know, if you're going out or whatever, you know, and you want that pop of the look yes it's be very very pretty yes very pretty highly recommend it okay so i'm gonna blend contour here and this is, and guess what, you all? This is the first time ever that I ever used a contour, um, use a contour in my face. I just go with just foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, and that's it. But I was like, no, let me think outside the box because I want to really, you know, get a really good look. So that is blended very, very well. And look. It made a difference like wow oh yes okay yes i highly recommend for you to do the contour with your look so now next we are going to need to do um i need to use this i'm, I'm gonna put um rescue onto no i'm gonna I'm, I'm mix it in my blend it mix it wow can i talk i want to mix rescue and suede to my bottom i know this is the wrong brush but i'm not gonna be wearing this makeup long because also with the video that you that i did uh, like a day ago i want to say thank you so much for just watching that video i mean oh my goodness uh well you saw the behind scenes of what i do after I'm done filming and what Hamilton does to his YouTube videos. So you see what he does. So and you see what I do afterwards when I'm done filming and things like that. So I just wanted to let you know that. And I'm just so sorry it's a long video. So I'm trying to not make my videos long anymore. Not too long because people have other things they want to do. So this is just a AOA again studio mascara. A skinny wand for your bottom. This is really good. I've used this a few times already, and when I apply myself to using this, oh my goodness! I mean, I love using this because 
it's very good and I just use it a few times and then look at the bottom to my lashes yes and I have one for my top too as well but I, I, I like to do my bottom first because I have more control with using a really skinny mascara brush like this so I highly recommend this mascara from AOA studio I mean, um, AOA Studio Shop is a, oh my goodness, so you know what I mean, y'all. I'm so sorry, you all. I just got off work, like I said, about a good hour or two ago, and I'm just beyond tired. Today, ooh, it was busy in the store today. I was like, where are these people coming from? <laughs> I was like, well, but then, but then it, it, it makes the time go by fast, though, too, you know, when you have, like, a lot of people, in, you know, in your store, of course. It, I mean, it makes the the day go by fast. So this is the AOA Studio um, Fat Lash Mascara, of course, in black. This is 3014. This is for your top. So I really, I really like using this mascara for my top because it just brings out my lash even more. So yeah. And then after this, and then I'm done with applying makeup to my face. Okay, so we are done, and then now for oh, I can use this. We got the highlights. Nope, I'm going to use this bronzer right here for my face right here. So I'm going to go with the brush that I just had. Yes. Um, this is with the contour brush. I'm just going to use this concealer brush. And I'm just going to put like the, the bronzer like right here on my nose. And right here. This is very, very pretty. And then like right here. And right here. And right here. And right here. And yeah. That's it. So I'm going to use the this brush. It's E112. I want to use a inner corner. I'm going to go with gold for my inner corner. Wow, that gold is so pretty. And I'm going to put some of the gold like right above here. Wow, that's very pretty. This look is so pretty. I want to try to put some of the gold, like mix it in. Oh my goodness, you all have to get this powder because I just put the gold glitter onto my lid. Oh my goodness, see, look. That's super pretty. I just did it and it just is coming out so pretty. I know I'm using the wrong brush, but I just want to just. 
put just a little bit in there, not too much. You know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna use my finger. I'm using my finger. I'm playing around. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. This is just so pretty. Because when you use your finger by applying these glitter palettes, um, it's so pretty. Very pretty. So I'm so done with this palette. Oh my goodness, you all have to get this palette. I'm going to give you my thoughts and everything in one second. I just need to apply just some lip gloss and basically I'm done with this look. Oh my goodness, this look is super pretty um, because me and Hamilton's um, one year anniversary is in November. So this is from CoverGirl. This is the Melting Pout Lip Gloss. It is in 205 Toasted. Super pretty. So I'm going to put my hair down so you all can really see how this looks. I'm always wearing my hair down, so, but yeah, what do y'all think? I hope you like it. Give this a try. Give this look a try. So, my final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette by Rosie She Makeup from Cherry. www.cherrie.com. I highly recommend this very beautiful palette i love it it's super girly this will be pretty for all skin tones skin tones for me so the colors that i chose for my inner corner is that gold that gold right there for the inner corner and then also for my lid too because for the lid i i did the in in this in i don't know infatuated <laughs> very pretty so I mixed in with the gold um, and then I did my upper brow with the gold too as well. And just some simple studs in my ear. But that's not the side but the point. But the look, the look. Oh my goodness. This is super, super pretty. It's very pretty. You get so many compliments with everywhere you go and anything like that. And then the foundation I love wow this foundation is very very good i love the foundation very pretty love it it just it's like a natural type of look that i love to do for myself it's very pretty love this foundation this is by maybelline new york dream radiant liquid hydration foundation i'm in the shade 130 cocoa if you were in my shade or darker than me they have other shades that Fit your complexion of your skin but I highly recommend this but this was on clearance at the time but I do have another one that I paid almost is like $10.98 or $12.98 at your local Walmart um, I believe Target but it's just one of those just one of those two stores <laughs> and also this CoverGirl um, melting pout lip gloss is very pretty this is in toast. It's in 205. I love this. It was very, very pretty. I love it. I cannot say enough. And my go-to concealer by CoverGirl is the Ready Set Gorgeous. The original packaging. I love it. Love, love, love. Very pretty. I love the concealer. And the bronzer from LA Colors. This is from the Dollar Tree, you all. Yes, Dollar Tree. I highly recommend that you go to Dollar Tree get this bronzer and also the highlighter it's called goddess from dollar tree for one dollar very 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 pretty i put it on my nose my forehead here and then my chin and my upper lip right here so it brings out my look even more super super pretty love this bronzer 
so yeah that is the end of the video i hope you liked it enjoy the video give it a thumbs up comment like and subscribe to aries gaming banished dragon and the beauty room yes so if you're new welcome to my youtube channel as you see it's all about makeup um where to buy the makeup at which stores online and to definitely do some makeup tutorials so i love this look definitely if you love this look as well um, apply it you will love it you will not be disappointed and also the setting spray yes i forgot this is from maybelline new york so this is a maybelline new york uh, makeup look so this is the master fix setting spray so now you really get the look now ah, my fan from dollar tree let me use that brush to just there you go there you go yes so this is just the fan from dollar tree and yeah that is it to the look so definitely i highly recommend it enjoy the look definitely get this spray because look at the spray yes the spray is very good it has like a type of a weird smell to it but not really really bad smell where it's like really strong but if you're allergic to certain um, setting sprays definitely make sure you when you go into Ulta Beauty or <clears throat> definitely ask a, a professional a makeup artist that will know you know if you're like allergic or whatever to setting sprays they will fit your you know they will get they will highly recommend you a setting spray so if you're allergic to certain to certain certain so certain when I talk I'm sorry let me start over they will highly recommend you to a certain setting spray for your face a primer spray or a setting spray that will fit your skin tone or your skin to your face so that is one thing I love about also beauty you know they have professionals in there or um, makeup artists that knows you know about the makeup world but that's what they are in and they went to school for that and everything else like that but yes i definitely love this look it's very pretty so i'm gonna go because <clears throat> i'm stop stop rambling now because it's um about 10 34 p.m it's eastern standard time <clears throat> and my voice is getting kind of raspy because i have to be at work tomorrow morning so definitely give this look a definite try you'll love it for any occasion it could be for any event that you have or about to go to a baby shower or even a wedding or a rehearsal dinner if you're one of the bridesmaids or mission of honor this look will be super pretty and that's what hamilton and i are doing too we're going to be doing a few rehearsals as well we're going to do a rehearsal dinner too because <clears throat> i'm the type of person that loves to get people together so yeah so I will definitely give this look a try at my rehearsal dinner so as well so I might do this look for my rehearsal dinner so put some some eyelashes on things like that get myself a lot more presentable and more better so yeah so definitely give this look a try and I'll see you in the next video and definitely go to double the trouble and definitely go to Jamie Lesman she's a really good youtuber and my friend also, Double the Trouble is a mother and daughter team. They are doing their thing on their YouTube channel. So go over there to their channel. Check them out. Subscribe, comment, and like. The ladies will definitely appreciate it when you go to their YouTube channel. So make sure you do. But come back. Come back to the beauty room. And yes, subscribe, comment, and like if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can get future uploads and new uploads. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening and I'll see you next time, same time, a different day. I'll see you next Tuesday. God bless. Bye-bye. See you this Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see you this Tuesday. So bye-bye.